and the race one of the women's 100 meter hurdle sponsored by Athletics Ireland is up next on track Linda Bishow Teresa Elena Sinova of Chechia Alicia Barrett Marley Jessup Molly Scott and Arabella Adekoya will line up in this one six athletes towing the line for race one Alicia Barrett, Marley Jessup, Molly Scott and Arabella Adekoya. Molly Scott, silver at the Irish National Championships last week. As was Teresa Elena Sinova at the Czechia version. What can we do here? We saw Scott out very, very fast in that women's 100 metres earlier. Let's keep an eye on this one. And we are way cleanly and Scott there in that pink vest is away quite well. And Barrett in the middle going well. As is Marley Jessup there. Marley Jessup probably coming away in the lead here. It is hurdles clattering all around. But Marley Jessup is away and clear. She's got a meter lead so far. Can she hold on? On the inside, it's going to be very, very tight. Barrett with a brilliant, brilliant finish. But I think Jessup just held on from Barrett and Linda Bishel there on the inside. So brilliant, brilliant run there from uh, Marley Jessup. 13.30 her best. That was 13.41 on, on the clock. And it looks like a legal wind is just a hurdle obscuring me at the moment. I think it is a 0 0.7. It certainly feels quite calm here. Yes, it is 13.42 for Marley Jessup. She held on for that victory. She had a metre clear with a hurdle or two to go. But Barrett closing an absolute train. Barrett, a very experienced athlete, the finalist of the Commonwealth Games in the past and has competed the World Championships back in London 2017. And we just get a look at that replay here again because it was a really, really interesting running off that last hurdle, especially Linda Bischel got the third spot in 13.51. And it was uh, indeed Marley Jessup from hurdle one onwards. You can see all the work that Barrett had to do here. You know, she closed that down to two hundredths of a second in the end, but the winner held on in style. Marley Jessup from the gun takes that Athletics Ireland race one 100 meter hurdles. Yeah, a great way to warm up for the race that's to come, which will feature even faster athletes, a slew of sub-13 second women. As you see there, the distance that Barrett came back for there was astonishing. Yeah, hurdle one was the, the end of Theresa Elena Sinova's race, unfortunately, he clipped that straight away, and then by hurdle four, there was no go anymore, but to see a bit of big wobble off the last hurdle there from Jessup, but held on enough to get herself that win in race one of the women's hurdles hurdlers in race two the Athletics Ireland women's 100 meter hurdles Meta Gravisgar, Tally Bonds, Sarah Lavin, Emily Morrison, Isabel Wakefield, Milica Emini and Jessica Hunter Talia Bonds there as well a really interesting athlete from the USA final of those US trials last week uh, or two weeks ago at this stage 12.65 at her best Sarah Lavin is the fastest in the field on personal best she's going to need to get away well here and carry that home she always finishes strong Hurdle 2 was her comeuppance at the European Championships after a blistering start. But let's see, can she hold on for a win here on home turf? So let's keep an eye on the fastest athletes in 3, 4 and 5. And now we are away. Let's keep an eye on Sarah Lavin here at the home fair. It's a very, very good start from Ebony Morrison. She was fast in the 100 metres earlier, but Lavin is coming through well now. Bonds has got a lot of work to do to catch up, but it is Lavin away and clear. Can she hold on through the last hurdle? And she's going to take the win. 12.85. Big celebrations on the, the inside of the infield of the... The local fans here just holds off the American and the Liberian, Bonds and Morrison. Brilliant win for Sarah Lavin. 12.85 plus 1.8 metres per second on the clock. 12.83 it's corrected to from Tally Bonds. 12.95 sub-13 as well. And another one sub-13 is Ebony Morrison with 12.99. Met Graviscar 13.15. I think that's going to be a big season's best for her. It's coming a little bit too late. But when you're battling back from injuries, any improvement is positive news. And Isabel Wakefield... 13.27, just gone to 31. And Alicia Emini, or Melissa Emini rather, with 13.53. So we can see here it's very, very tight from those three athletes, those three fastest athletes in the field. Morrison is way very, very fast. He is a very strong 100 meter runner, as we've seen earlier today. But the class of the field, Sarah Lavin in that second half just pulled away from Tally Bonds and Ebony Morrison. Morrison, that little bit of fatigue in the legs, perhaps from the 100 metres earlier, this head-on shot will show us a little bit more for this first hurdle. Sure. They're right in the middle there, in the blonde hair. Bonds to her right on this screen. There, Three of them were kind of rising similarly. Morrison possibly had the lead for those first two, three hurdles, but the composure, the strength, the technique of Lavin just carrying her home and away in clear. 
That is Sarah Levin's 11th race of the season outdoors. And every when like, my name got called out, I was like, oh, Sarah, you have to win this one tonight. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant to have this just down the road now from home. Another sub-13 for you, and it was, uh, it was pretty quick, wasn't it? And uh, in stiff competition as well. Yeah, that was. I think uh, that's what I kind of will take from it. I would have liked to maybe go a little bit quicker, but I guess um, going in with the other girls, there's very little between us on paper. So to be point one over point one and um, and get the win is relatively cool enough tonight. Um, but the wind was in the right direction. So yeah. describe there uh, after the race as the most loyal and popular athlete in Ireland. Uh, kind words and uh, the, the crowd certainly took to you tonight as well again. Oh, I didn't pay them, I promise. <laughs> um, but that's really, yeah, I don't know. I'll even find out who said that. I bet you, bet you there's a bias there. <laughs> but no, it's it's so nice to compete at home. Obviously, I'm really in a thick, thick training block at the moment because we're one month to go um, to get that peak. But to be able to practice a few things under pressure was a wonderful opportunity to do, obviously, in front of a home crowd. Just explain to us what it means to you personally to be you know, on the verge of your first ever Olympic Games in, in a few weeks in Paris. Second, second Olympics, um, but uh, I guess this one time around Tokyo had no crowd, so yeah. to have family and friends travelling over, um, like it's the journey you're on with everybody and you know it's as much off the track and on the track and everyone knows what you put into it and to get to share that moment with them on the biggest sporting stage in the world. Preparations right on track, yeah? Yeah. All, so, all good. All good. Thank you. Thank you.